is KRQE News 13 with Dick Niffing and Jessica Gattate. At first, detectives thought that the killing in a Hobbs tattoo shop last fall might have been self-defense. Now, however, they are certain it was murder and they want to arrest the shop owner, but they can't find him. So News 13's Jeff Todd reports they are turning to America's most wanted. It was late September when Hobbs police were called out to this tattoo parlor. When they got there, they found Orlando Martinez dead on the floor, shot in the head. And Philip Ed Harrison, the owner of the tattoo parlor, was alive, but he'd been stabbed in the neck. Harrison and Martinez had been fighting over money, according to police. A few weeks later, detectives decided it was not a case of self-defense. It was murder. But since then, Harrison's shop has closed and he's vanished. So Hobbs police are hoping the TV show America's Most Wanted can help catch him. I just decided that since Mr. Harrison has, had left Hobbs, that this is a resource that we could, we could possibly use. Any signs of Harrison at his old tattoo parlor have been all but cleaned up. Hobbs police say that's why they're taking this search national. They've gotten a reliable tip that he left in an RV, and with ties to other states, he could be anywhere. Oregon, he has ties in Arizona. He lived in both of those states for a while. Officer Stone says he was watching the show over the weekend and decided it was worth a shot to ask for their help. Stone says the department hasn't used the TV show before, but he has a good feeling because Philip Harrison is unique. He's got tats all over his whole body. He's a very unique looking individual. If someone has seen him, hopefully they'll call. In Hobbs, Jeff Todd, KRQE News 13. If America's Most Wanted does not report the case on TV, Hobbs police hope the program at least will profile it on their website.